Chris Sherm here at ESOB. What I want to talk to you about today is gouging. So if you look at the consumables I've got in my hand here, the top is the cutting nozzle, the bottom is the gouging. You can clearly see the gouging has a larger hole at the end of the cutting tip, right? So gouging is a much softer, broader arc. I'm not trying to cut through the material. I'm trying to remove metal from either the surface of the material in, in order to weld prep, or I'm trying to remove a weld or a crack, something like that to do a repair. So let me, uh, let me power this up and do some gouges for you, and then we'll talk about it. Ready? Here we go. Look at this, I did a straight gouge, which is just no motion, just pushing the gouge along. Oftentimes though, when you're talking about a straight gouge, a straight push, you're talking about some kind of semi-automated or automated gouge. Well, you're gonna do a gouge that's much longer than just a couple of inches. You'll probably do a gouge that might go all the way around a pipe, all the way down a plate. So what I wanna do is instead of being straight, I'm gonna move that to just a slight angle so that all the dross can pull to one side. Now the nice thing about dross in the case of plasma is look how easy that comes off, right? And then you're left with a very clean, clean gouge. And you can see the weld metal in mild steel is very shiny. It's ready to weld. Now the third one down the line, I'm actually producing some more depth. The way you produce depth in gouging is by angling the angle of impact to a deeper level. So if I draw that tip back and then sweep forward, draw it back, sweep forward, draw it back, sweep forward, you can see that my angle of impact is much steeper the deeper I go. Well now if I combine that motion with a bit of a V shape, right, down and back, down and back, down and back, down and back, I can now add width in addition to depth on that gouge. The next one down the line is a little bit unique, but it is my absolute favorite, favorite gouge. This is what I call the circle. So I'm coming into the gouge this way, I'm circling around, circling around, circling around. This is very, very effective on fillet welds. So if I had a fillet weld, another piece of metal right here in front of you, and I needed to remove that weld, a great way to do that is to do a circle into the top of the weld and sweep out. Circle, sweep, circle, sweep, circle, sweep. As I do that all the way down, you can see how much weld metal that's removing. Last but not least, Man, grinding can be a bit of a pain sometimes, and all I gotta do is do some surface prep, remove some rust, uh, just remove a little bit of material from the, from the top of the surface of the material. I could take that nozzle and just back and forth like this as I wipe all that off. So there's several different styles of gouges, all coming from the same tip, all from the same amperage. All these are done with just 50 amps. Okay, so as you go bigger in amperage, you could do all these same gouges with bigger width and bigger depth. I could do the opposite by going down, right? So I could take that 50, turn it all the way down to 15 amps, and you could remove a diamond off a diamond plate. You could be very surgical with gouging. So there you have it. Plasma gouging is a very, very useful tool in your toolbox. If you don't have one of these, go get you one today.